Far in the east, a powerful force awakens. China is now the custodian of the world's most advanced hypervelocity wind tunnel. It symbolizes a future of dreadful hypersonic weaponry that the West must ready itself to counter. This groundbreaking wind tunnel is more than a feat of engineering. It is a venue for China to test daring new prototypes, machines of such potency that their existence could dramatically upend the global balance of power. In a bold display of confidence, the Chinese government has released gripping footage of this mechanical superstructure. The hypervelocity wind tunnel, an embodiment of raw power, simulates extreme conditions, replicating the intense speeds of up to Mach 30. Concerningly, the video also reveals a delta-winged, dart-shaped vessel spacecraft, signaling the dawn of a potential space launch fighter initiative. The ominous images now stir the world, igniting concern and speculation. The United States and its Western allies must prepare to confront this burgeoning hypersonic threat. The scales of power teeter towards the east, and the world braces for the potential shockwaves this could trigger. Hypersonic Arms Race The modern theater of global military strategy is ablaze with the high-stakes drama of the hypervelocity arms race. Amidst this heated competition, unsettling murmurs echo throughout the halls of power, with experts suggesting the United States may have lost its footing to China in this crucial sphere. High-profile voices, including the head of defense titan Raytheon, have voiced an alarming truth. The U.S. may be trailing China in pursuing hypersonic weapons by years rather than months. These formidable devices, capable of breaching Mach 5, possess game-changing tactical advantages, promising to redraw the warfare map and reconfigure global power dynamics. These weapons' blistering speed and pinpoint accuracy allow them to strike targets anywhere on the globe in mere minutes, dramatically reducing the time adversaries have to react or defend. This seismic shift undermines traditional war tactics and threatens to unravel current deterrent strategies. Current Western missile defense systems stand little chance against these rapid-fire projectiles. Their incredible speed, erratic trajectory, and minimal radar cross-section combine to form an insurmountable challenge. Indicators suggest China is making significant strides in hypervelocity technology, with a string of successful tests fanning the flames of concern about U.S. readiness. Meanwhile, the U.S. grapples with a series of setbacks, hindering its hypersonic program's testing and development phases. The hypervelocity arms race isn't just about physical weaponry. It is a testament to a nation's technological sophistication and military might. In this new epoch, superpowers won't be defined merely by their conventional military clout, but by their mastery over frontier technologies like hypervelocity. China's startling advancements in hypervelocity capabilities, embodied by the unveiling of their hypervelocity wind tunnel alongside the U.S.'s apparent lag, places a spotlight on the United States and its ability to catch up in this vital technological arena, which could prove to be the fulcrum upon which rests the future of warfare. The Tunnel In June 2023, a rumble of triumph echoed from China as they unveiled a feat of technological prowess, their state-of-the-art hypervelocity wind tunnel. This monumental endeavor, nurtured since 2018, marked a new epoch in their aerospace journey. A delegation of 16 experts, drawn from many institutes and organizations, gave their nod of approval, triggering the commencement of operations. This trailblazing facility stands unmatched in its comprehensive performance parameters, which include effective experiment time, total temperature, total pressure, and the expansive size of the nozzle flow field. These details were revealed in a press statement, spotlighting the wind tunnel as a testament to China's technological edge. The tunnel, a super-large experimental instrument spanning 167 meters in length, boasts a nozzle exit of 2.5 meters and a test cabin diameter of 4 meters. According to the press release, with the capability to test airflows between 3 to 10 kilometers per second, reaching the staggering heights of Mach 30, the wind tunnel promises to supercharge China's development of aerospace transport systems and hypersonic aircraft. This innovative facility, the JF-22 Hypervelocity Wind Tunnel, in combination with the previously developed JF-12 Reproduction Wind Tunnel, provides China with a unique ground experimental platform. 
This combination can accommodate flight ranges for near-space aircraft, further solidifying China's position in aerospace leadership, as the Institute elaborated in the press release. Chinese aerospace pundits hailed this facility as a pivotal step toward shaping the future of civilian transportation systems. Yet its potential extends beyond civilian use, touching military applications and projectile designs. In one of the first trials conducted within this world-leading hypervelocity wind tunnel, Chinese media provided a tantalizing glimpse of the potential game-changer, a space-based craft being tested inside the tunnel. While this aircraft prototype may signal progress in civilian transportation, it could also hint at the beginnings of a Chinese space launch fighter program, presenting a compelling preview of the future. Mothership The design of the spacecraft seen in the footage bears a striking resemblance to air-launch spaceplane mothership concepts previously shown by Chinese aerospace companies and academic institutions. The craft, sporting a delta-winged, dart-shaped silhouette, evokes memories of a design from wind tunnel test pictures and videos released by the China Academy of Aerospace Aerodynamics in 2019. These two-stage to orbit systems comprise a mothership aircraft that lifts the spacecraft to extreme altitudes before it rockets into space under its own propulsion. Many of these designs feature reusable space planes, capable of conventional runway landings and sometimes powered by advanced high-speed air-breathing jet engines, such as scramjets or ramjets. These two engines differ mainly in their inlet and combustion chamber constructions. The allure of two-stage-to-orbit concepts lies in their increased flexibility and unpredictability compared to traditional space launch rockets. Mothership aircraft can operate from any sufficiently large airbase or airport without requiring substantial static infrastructure and less preparation. However, these two-stage-to-orbit concepts typically have a catch, a limited payload weight capacity compared to conventional space launch rockets. Furthermore, there's potential to utilize these concepts to launch space planes for a range of missions beyond mere payload delivery, such as long-range intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and even strike missions or lethal on-orbit attacks. The operational JF-22 wind tunnel, designed for testing hypersonic weapons, marks a significant step in China's aerospace advancements and escalates the global hypersonic arms race. The JF-12's predecessor played a key role in developing the operational DF-17 hypersonic missile. Thus, it's safe to deduce that this more advanced facility will produce some of the most fearsome hypersonic weapons and the most groundbreaking aircraft of the near future. A Growing Shadow Raytheon Technologies CEO Gregory Hayes recently sent a stark warning to U.S. authorities terming hypersonic capability as, quote, the most destabilizing threat to the homeland. He cautioned, quote, the time to react is very, very short. The activation of China's JF-22 hypervelocity supertunnel and the footage of its initial tests could be seen as the final alarm bell, a sobering reminder of the pressing need for action. If not addressed urgently, China could attain unchallenged supremacy in the strategic field of hypersonic weaponry. But this isn't the only impending threat. The potential of Chinese strike spacecraft attacking at hypersonic speed adds another layer of urgency for Western authorities. This should serve as an imperative to close the development gap in hypersonic facilities and technologies. The clock is ticking. The world is on the precipice of a new era of warfare. It might soon be too late if swift, decisive actions are not taken. The countdown has begun. Thank you for watching Dark Footage. For more incredible videos and history-defining photographs, subscribe and hit the notification bell. To explore more warfare-related stories or delve into some of the most epic battles in history, check out our other Dark Documentaries channels. We publish regularly, so stay tuned.